Today we're talking about something very near and dear to my heart, or more specifically my ears. Headphones. Growing up, I didn't wear headphones very much. I didn't really listen to music, and I didn't have game consoles that I could plug headphones into, which sounds strange, because at this point in my life, and for the last, I don't know, five years, I wear headphones as a majority of the time than I do not wearing headphones, which is really interesting. So today I thought we'd look through all of the various headphones that I have owned, I still have, whether I use them or not. This is a lot, so it's probably going to be a two-part video. Let's start going over at the beginning. The first headphones that I owned, I no longer have. I don't know where they went, I have no idea. But they were called Plantronics Gamecom 367 Closed Ear Gaming Headset. Or at least that's what the Amazon listing said when I went and looked through my history. I bought them in April of 2012. I bought them new for $24. They were not great. I have no idea where they've gone to. I haven't seen them in maybe a decade. But I do have some pictures of when I used the headset one time to record my own audio, and then I stuck a webcam on my head so that I could play a game of magic over a Skype video call. That was probably the last time I used Skype, too. Moving on to a pair of headphones that I actually do still have. Turtle Beach. X12s. Yeah, they've, um... They've been through the ringer. <laughs> Time has not been kind to these headphones. You can see they have completely worn away almost entirely for the coating around there. The padding's still nice, which is good. But yes, it's been a long, probably 10 to 12 years. No, I looked that up. It's not quite been that long. I bought them in November of 2012. I was able to find where I purchased them on Amazon. I got them used. I paid $35 for them. That is an amazing deal for the amount of time and effort that I used into them. The mic was a significantly better quality than anything else at the time. It's got a ridiculously long cable, the ability to plug in through full-size USB, and then also you've got 3.5 millimeter sound and headphone or microphone and sound jacks in order to plug into that. I used these on the computer back then, and that was really the first pair of headphones that I had, and I used them for quite a good bit. I liked them a lot, and I used them frequently. And this is really where I started getting into being able to talk on the headphones. I've talked before about how I would play video games with my friends, and we would talk on the phone. So I just needed like an earbud to plug in to our handset. This is where we started moving into being able to use VoIP services, voice over internet. Uh, what's the P stand for? Protocol? It might be protocol. Things that you would know nowadays as Discord, but long before Discord existed. I actually bought a second pair of these and as a gift and sent them to one of my siblings so that we could talk and chat online while playing games and things like this. And this is where I stopped playing things out speakers, which was what I was doing before. I've talked about how much time I put into the Maple Story game. The Maple Story game? I talked about how much time I put into Maple Story, and I was playing that with speakers. I was playing that with a lot of speakers because the pre built HP computer I was playing on had surround sound jacks, different colors with different 3.5 millimeters. I did not have a surround sound system, but what I did have was about eight pair of old speakers from various years, and various... I set them up all around my room. I had a couple in front of me, I had a couple lower, I put some behind me, I put them all over, and my dad went, You're ridiculous, and I went, Yes, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> It wasn't really surround sound. It did not put different sound out of it. It was just more speakers and more sound. But eventually we moved on to headsets. Uh, let's look at the next one. The next pair of headphones that I ever owned were wireless. And these two have not stood the test of time very well. This should be black. This is what happens. Now I know some of this is replaceable. Uh, that's really nice that they're able to do that. But uh, for me, I didn't know that at the time, and I certainly wasn't about to spend money putting more into something like that, because it works just fine. They're nice and cushy. They felt good at the time. These are made by a company called Afterglow. I have no idea if they still make headphones, but these are what I bought. This would glow. This is just a clear plastic with some LEDs inside. Boy, that is beat up. Did that just light up? Oh, I don't know if you can tell that on camera. They still have a little bit of juice after all this time. That's interesting. But I got these so that I could play the first ones being more for PC games. Eventually I made the move to console and 
I started playing on my Xbox 360 and I wanted a headset and the USB worked. I don't actually know if that would work with an Xbox 360. I don't know if that USB would plug in and I'd get headset sound out of it. And this was before Xbox controllers had headphone jacks built into them. So I wanted wireless and I wanted to be able to talk on mic with all of my friends that I was playing games with. These came with a dongle, full size USB, this would light up as well, that also had a 3.5 millimeter. Now I do remember for the Xbox 360, in order for me to get audio out of that because it was running through HDMI, I had to actually use an HDMI splitter. Or no, I had to use a composite splitter, I suppose. It was a big chunky cable that went in the back and split out to your various different types of your various composite cables with the higher quality for 720p. Wow, this sounds really old the more I talk about it. Anyway, I was able to do that and plug this in and get sound out of that. I liked these so much that I have a second pair. <laughs> these have stood up a little bit to the test of time better, but man, it's not by much. They're pretty... Ugh. This was another version that they made. This band had LEDs in it, and this would glow. These are my significant others. Um, I, She said, I want headset too, I want the wireless, that's really cool, and I went, absolutely, of course, get ones like I did. So I suggested she also get some afterglow, change these gloves. And so she did. And these, we worked, they worked great. And they, they lit up the room and they lit up our lives with sound. I don't know. Enough of this. The next pair of headphones I would buy would be in 2016. I used those afterglows for many, many years. But in 2016, I needed a different pair of headphones and for a different purpose. I didn't really need a microphone. I needed better quality, which was an interesting step for me to take at that point. These are Audio-Technica ATH M20Xs, and they are terrible. <laughs> I wish I had tried them before I bought them, because I would not have paid $50 for them like I did. In 2016, I was starting to make videos with a friend, and so I was editing more, and I needed them to be able to plug into the mixer so I could check our sound levels without... I couldn't do that with the other pair of wireless headphones that I have, and I needed something that could go to... I don't have the adapter on here right now because I've used it for other things, but it could go to the quarter-inch size, the much bigger, and these were the cheapest ones I could get at the time. I do not like them. They do not feel good. I don't know if the mic will pick up. They, they they don't sound good. They're very loud. They have, I mean, they're, the physical headphones themselves are loud when you put them on. They've got loud plastic chunky bits that hit and are loud and they squish and they make bad noises. I've never liked these. I should have returned them, honestly, but I didn't and I kept them. And now I have them and I do not use them. But they are a good reminder to make sure that you vet things properly before I go spending money on something. I did use them as much as I could over the years, tried to give them as much of a chance. I wore them to play PC games whenever, because switching back and forth has always been something that I've disliked. It's an extra step. It's an extra hassle. So if I want to play a game on the PC, and then I want to play a game on the Xbox, I don't really want to go switching back and forth. And we'll talk more about that later, because that's kind of a big reason why I do some of the things that I do. But for these... I did plug them into the PC, I did what I could. They'd, I don't remember them sounding just like amazingly better or anything. At that point, I wasn't really in tuned with what audio could sound like. I still didn't really listen to music all that much. This was mostly just when I was on headset and I had a, I had a microphone, like a, a USB microphone or something along those lines. But the next ones that I got, the next ones are where it came into, I cared what things sounded like. The Astro A40 tournament ready for Xbox. A lot of mumbo jumbo, but really nice headphones. Really nice. They've been worn because they've been used extensively. They did not come with this original black and blue. It's come off. They did not come with this at all. It was red. I don't know where the red ones are. I would have gotten them for the video if I could have found them, but they're packed away in a box somewhere. This is how they are. I don't use these anymore either. I should have mentioned that at the top. All of these video, all of these that we're doing in this video, I don't use anymore. And then the second one for part two will be ones that I do actively use. I have to guess it was around 2017 when I bought them, and I do know that they were more than $200. They came with the little mix amp, which I really liked being able to control, having a knob for your volume that wasn't part of the headset. These had almost nothing on the headset. The mic had an inline for the cable so that you could mute it 
that way. Um, they also, I, we used Astros for a good while after that. We'd moved on. So a lot of people, I would suggest Astros to people. They, they were good quality headphones, and I liked these a lot. I can guess. I remember buying them at a Best Buy. I remember agonizing over the price, but going, no, I really want to do this. I want a nice pair of headphones. I've read about wireless versus wired. I want to get some nice wired headphones. I was unsatisfied with what I had with the Afterglow. They were dying, and I wanted to be talking on headset again with friends and things like that. And I really liked what I had with this. I think it was around 2017 because I very specifically remember getting home and booting up a game that I had been playing, which was Battlefield 1. And it was incredible. I didn't even get into a game, just the intro music, which also, that game has a fantastic soundtrack, so I highly recommend it. I mean, I, I think that's Hans Zimmer, and yeah, that guy knows how to make some music. Fantastic. And then you actually play the game, and it was insane. And that was without this mod kit that's on here. That's what these are. These, the black pieces themselves, they upgraded to a better, more noise canceling. These have rubber seals to block out the sound to make them fully closed back. It was an experience unlike anything else. And going from really crappy headphones to something like a nice upgrade like this, wow. That made me go, oh wow, I, I like headphones. I like listening to things. And I can watch TV, I can watch movies, I can play games, I can talk on the headset. These were fantastic and a workhorse. I used these for years and years and years. They have unfortunately died at this point. And it's a little sad because <laughs> they just died recently. It was, it was here in 2022, technically. After the move, after everything was said and done there, uh, I was setting up. I got different headphones that we'll talk about in the next video. But I wanted to use these still, and I went, oh, I could put them in my room so I can lay down, and I'll just listen. I'll use them. I'll hook them, up, hook them up to a computer and just listen to music soundtracks, listen to albums that I've never heard, and actually just make that the hobby. Don't do it as a, it's always kind of been a background noise or something like that, but make that a thing. And I got them all plugged up and everything ready and they were dead and I couldn't get any sound out of them. And they just died. And I don't know what happened. I've never bothered to take them apart. I just went cool. Uh, all right. Well, they were an extra thing anyway. That's annoying. The next pair of headphones I bought were in 2018. And I know that because, not that I have a receipt still, I really didn't buy many headphones. Apparently headphones were not a thought-out purchase buy online. It was more of an impulse, oh, I see them here, because I have very little records of most of these headphone purchases. But these I remember getting after I bought a gaming laptop. I was ready to try some PC gaming again. I'd been doing Xbox for six or seven years at this point entirely. Wasn't really playing a lot of PC games, but I was ready to try it again. I got myself a gaming laptop, and then I bought myself a nice pair of headphones. I say nice, I bought myself what I thought was a nice pair of headphones at the time. The Razer Kraken in this ridiculous green. This is so cool. And to be fair, I can't really compare how many hundreds of hours these went through to the other ones because I don't have any kind of time, but I know more than anything, I played on that laptop, Path of Exile and Steam Tracture hours, and I put 600 hours into that game. And I wore these headset, I wore this headset pretty much the entire time. I also wore it while I was doing other things. As a matter of fact, I have two of them. <laughs> Technically, these are not mine, these are my significant others, but again, similar situation. Playing PC games, setting up PCs to do stuff like that, and then especially, we were playing D&D over Discord. We'd moved, we'd always done D&D throughout the years, fantastic, but we moved to doing it virtually and doing it through Discord and various websites where you could connect and things like that. And we needed headsets so that everybody could talk and hear each other and things like that. I'd already been using these for quite a while. I really liked them. I liked them and I liked the look of them so much. I remember specifically figuring out how to go into Windows and changing the icon on your desktop. <laughs> So that when it, it shows your sound icon, instead of the normal default Windows sound icon, it showed an image of this, these Razer Kraken green headphones, because I liked them so much, and I went, well, these are my headphones, this is what I'm using, I'll put that on there. 
really good. Great quality for what it was. I don't think they were that expensive. I think they were like $80. I remember buying them at a micro center. And same thing with these when we went and got another pair for her so that we each had his and her headphones, something like that, and we could play our games together. These were fantastic. I really liked these. They sounded great. I played hundreds and hundreds of hours of video games. And I even used them. This is what I, when I first started, because that's the laptop that I used when I started editing wildlife videos. I shot those videos and I tried to edit them on a, on an Asus Predator gaming laptop with a GTX 1060 in it. And I was shooting 6K footage and it would not work at all. And that's why I built an editing computer so I could do that. But these were the headphones that I was using at the time because that was the computer that I was using at the time. I have one last pair of headphones. These are the Samson SR850s. I bought them for $42 in December of 2020, and they have been through a lot. I was working full remote at this point, and that's why I can now say I spend a majority of my week wearing headphones, is because at the very minimum, I 40 hours a week, I have headphones on. It used to be these, and these worked really well. And then they started going out. For $42, these have sounded the best out of anything else that we've talked about. Even the Astros didn't sound. The Astros were too boomy. They had too much bass in them. Even though I could mess with the EQ on the mix amp and things like that. These are open back reference headphones. And they just sound fantastic. They're not bad at all. And for the price, it's amazing. I did buy them rec on the recommendation of reading people's reviews and the website that shows the graphs and things like that. And seeing these, I went, oh, well, these are great. They have started to come apart a little bit. The cable should not be like this. This cable should be inserted in there and be nice and snug. And it is not. It has come out and the wires are exposed. And it's actually pulled enough to the point where one of these headphones has gone out. I might be able to fix them, but for the price that they were, I don't really want to. I've moved on to better things that we'll talk about in the next video. But these became my workhorse for a very long time, for more than two straight years, because we'll talk about in the next one what I upgraded to at the beginning of 2023. Spoiler alert, if you've seen me editing, you've seen me wearing them, the newest ones. But anyway, these were fantastic. I highly recommend these as well. Great things. This is not reviews. I don't do that kind of thing. But still, these are just great headphones. They're super comfortable. They work really well. They open back. They sound very nice. They worked perfectly for what I wanted to do. I will say, on the subject of something that I talked about before, listening to music actively happened somewhere for me probably in 2016, 2017. I never really did that growing up. I did not listen to a lot of music. I did not really have a lot of music. I did not, it wasn't something that I ever really considered. And since then that has gone a complete 180. Now I listen to music constantly. Now I'm seeking out and searching for new music. And I spend 40 hours of my week listening to something one way or the other. At this point, this is why I bought them. I went, this is a great investment because I wear them constantly for my job. I sit at a computer desk and I need something to keep me entertained. And I put on headphones and I listen to whatever and I get through the day and the boring monotony of what I have to do for a living. Headphones are a fantastic way to do that. I listen to a lot of things for the first time on these headphones, a lot of albums since then, a lot of soundtracks like the Hamilton soundtrack that I will listen to constantly because it's fantastic. That was the first time on these headphones. Is that true? That might not be true. I don't remember. Anyway, it will make more sense in the second part for this video as to why I like headphones just so much. But th those are all the headphones that I had previously. For one reason or another, whether they no longer work or because they're old and outdated, or I've moved on to bigger and better and in different ways, I no longer use them. That's been this entire video. None of those are currently in use anymore. I've got a couple more to talk about in the next video that are still in use. But suffice it to say, going through the years between the video games, talking on headset, the various use cases of having headphones and enjoying and listening to music more so as it's come now to the point where I actively will stop and just go, I want to listen to a piece of music, not I want to put it on in the background. Headphones are something that I like.